Right, so as you can see, the car is absolutely filthy. We're here at G-Technic, who are one of my clients. Usually, I'm that side of the camera filming Adam detailing cars like this or other random cars, but I'm here to learn basically everything from washing, clay barring, panel prep, all the way to machine polishing, and then topping it off with ceramic coating. This car's cleaned quickly for photos, um, so it's pretty rough with some deep, deep swirling in it and stuff, deep scratches. So we're going to see how we get on and go and attack it in the G-Technic Detailing Centre. Let's go. So this is G-Technic's very own wash bay. It's fully protected with a roof on the top, fully got heated water supply so you can wash the car without having to worry about rain or anything like that. Warm water to get through the dirt and grime. It's, it's just a great little spot to wash your car really, ready to go inside to be detailed. G-Technic W6, so this is our iron and fallout remover, um, so we're going to use this mainly on the wheels, it will also clean the calipers and it will um, heat grease and pull out any iron and fallout. Uh, we're then going to use the uh, W5 Citrus All Purpose Cleaner, this will mainly be used on the tyre and in the arch, uh, just to clean off as much dirt as possible. Uh, we have different brushes here, we've got different sized brushes to get in to all the, uh, the areas of the wheels and the arches and then once they've been cleaned um, it will get thoroughly rinsed with the pressure washer and you'll repeat that on all four corners. Just show me how to do the wheels correctly. This is the iron fallout remover, which goes on wheels inside the barrels and stuff like that. It basically, gets rid of all the brake dust and all the fallout. Uh, we've got W5, which is it's basically like an all-purpose cleaner. So for inside the arches, which is great for me because where we live is round the countryside, and all these arches get full of horse shit and just general countryside crap. Um, so yeah that, that's great for that so i basically spray this on onto the wheel blast the arches with that and then basically agitate it around the wheel and around the arch to get rid of all the dirt and then rinse it off after so give it a go So now I've just finished doing all the wheels uh, completely. All four of them are all nice and shiny now. All that process has been done. It took my sweet little time. So during that process, Adam has kindly got us ready our two bucket wash, which is using the G-Wash shampoo. And he's also set up the snow foam with their W4 citrus foam, which is a complete pH neutral snow foam, ready to hit it and get all the dirt off the paint. And then we'll be ready to dry it off after. So let's give it a go. Don't you dare me. <laughs> Don't you dare. <laughs>
best practice to do it, I'm, I'm probably going to sound guilty, I don't always do a two bucket wash, but basically what you have is, this bucket is soapy, clean water, and this bucket is for basically rinsing off the dirt off the car, so you don't basically apply the dirt back onto the car, so you, you're applying clean, fresh water. That's the end of day one. We've completely washed the car outside in the Geotechnic wash bay. We've gone through and completely snow foamed it. We've completely sorted the wheels, washed them, wheel soap, everything, iron remover, fallout remover, um, done all the arches inside. We then brought the car in and completely dried it off everywhere in all the door shuts, completely made sure it was bone dry. And then we pulled it onto the the detailing bay and gone round and completely clay barred the car, getting all the contaminants off the paint, ready for polishing so that we don't carry anything over the paint that's going to make it any worse. And then after that we we tested a bit, well Adam tested a bit, um, just to see what we're going to do tomorrow and what's going to work on the paint to get it how we want it to get it. Um, it's not going to be perfect because that will take an absolute age because the paint's quite bad. Um, there's a lot of like deep scratches and stuff. Um, but we're going to get it show ready, we'll say. It's going to be a nice show finish, so there won't be swirls or holograms or anything in the paint ready for the summer months. And then tomorrow, we're going to come back and basically hit it with machine polishers all over everywhere, um, polish the wheels with their M1 
and get all the dishes looking nice. We're gonna go away and drive back in the lovely Golf GTI that they provided us. So this is just gonna sit here overnight. Uh, and yeah, we'll um, see what happens tomorrow. So that's the end of the day one vlog. If you wanna see what we get up to tomorrow, we're gonna to put a link somewhere up here at the top that's gonna to come in right now. So you can click there and see day two and what we did with the paintwork and the results that we get.